the captain always waits until all of the crew make it off the ship safely. The captain doesn't leave the ship until everybody else is safely off. The captain, if required, goes down with his ship. These are just basic fundamental rules of being a sailor, of being a boat captain, that everybody understands. And you're asking yourself, what in the hell does that have to do with anything pertaining to professional wrestling? Well, it is of course all due to Vincent K. McMahon and his violation of this fundamental tenet when it comes to his wrestlers, his superstars, his sports entertainers, his independent contractors. When shit came to get, and it came time to take that Saudi blood money and bolt the hell out of that country back to the States, and there were issues of whatever the hell kind there were, Vince McMahon made sure that he got the hell out of Dodge and said, screw the rest of you. Does that surprise anybody? We're talking about a guy who, throughout his life, has shown that he does not care about the talents that he employs, or technically, because he signs them to independent contractor contracts, doesn't even employ. Like, this is a guy who has demonstrated his lack of compassion, his lack of caring for other people, unless it is beneficial to his company to put up that philanthropic front. The Susan G. Komen crap, the Make-A-Wish crap, and da-da-da-da-da. There's nothing ever truly about it that speaks to Vince McMahon actually being a good soul or a good person. It is always about the optics of something, philanthropy is the way of business in the 21st century, skip de skip whoop de woo think about the PR and the good press we're going to get for that. Does this surprise anybody that Vince McMahon would abandon the vast majority of his wrestlers back in Saudi Arabia? It shouldn't surprise any of you. This is the same guy who has went out of his way over the years to sign all of the talents to independent contractor contracts, meaning that he doesn't have to pay Social Security tax on him. He doesn't have to pay unemployment tax on him. He doesn't have to pay into any workman's comp or anything like that on him. He doesn't have to provide him 401k or pension or health benefits, and he most certainly does not. Even though the wrestlers can't go anywhere without his permission, even though they're independent contractors, that kind of violates the whole premise and tenet here. The bottom line is, is Vince McMahon has shown with his actions throughout the decades and generations that if you work for him, you are just a pawn. You are a commodity, nothing more and nothing less. But this is even dirty for Vince McMahon. Not only is it stupid enough, to sit there and schedule this crown jewel show in Saudi Arabia on a Thursday, knowing you got smacked down the next damn night, so everybody's got to take a, what, 16, 18, 20 damn hour flight back to Buffalo, New York to try and make the damn show. That's not bad enough. But then when you run into issues, and whatever those issues are, I'm not even here to speculate on at this point. You make sure that some of the good ones, including yourself, book a charter and get the hell up out of there. And all the while, and all the while, you leave everybody else to kind of fend for them damn selves. And if that wasn't bad enough, the press release from the WWE about all of this, talking about how certain wrestlers, how certain talents, care so much about making it to SmackDown that they pay for their own charter to get back to Buffalo, New York. That literally sounds like some type of spin BS that you would expect out of Kim Jong-un in North Korea or Saudi Arabia. Did Vince have MBS write this fucking press release? This is insane. And then today, <laughs> in response to some of the controversy, the WWE doubles down. And they say, screw the talent and screw everybody else. We're digging in our heels even more on this deal through 2027 and we're adding an additional show. <laughs> Vince is a sea sucker. He always has been a sea sucker. He always will be a sea sucker. And everybody damn good and well knows it.
He did his people dirty, though. Have them go all the way up the hell over there and put them through all this crap. And then they just sit there and they wait and they wait and they wait. Could you imagine being in a godforsaken place you really don't want to be associated with a country you are not from and you do not want any part of? While well, some of the others, including your boss, have already made it back home, back stateside. And not surprisingly, a lot of the wrestlers that were left behind were relatively pissed about this. They weren't part of the top 20, so they didn't bother to pay for their charter back. <laughs> now that in and of itself sounds ridiculous because you would say, well, they're over there for your purposes, WWE. Why wouldn't you pay for a charter to get them back? But I digress again. Vince doesn't care about his talent, never has, and never will. This really shouldn't surprise anybody that this man would put profits and blood money over his talent, over their families, over their peace of mind, and so on and so forth. It absolutely should not be a surprise. It also, again, should speak to his overall lack of leadership abilities that instead of following fundamental tenets of leading by example and making sure that everybody is accounted for and safe before he departs, he's one of the first ones to get the hell out of there. He's like, I don't want none of this crap. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you have responsibilities at SmackDown, you delegate them. That's what a good leader does. And Vince McMahon, of course, again, demonstrates his total lack of leadership. Now, I don't necessarily know that I feel a whole lot of sympathy for the superstars that got stranded there. I could say that's your comeuppance. That's what the hell you get for agreeing to go over there to Saudi Arabia any damn way. You have some of the talents that choose to not go over there. They didn't have to deal with this crap. You chose to go over there knowing the circumstances, knowing the environment that you're in. You know what? I'm not going to glad hand you. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. If anything, I feel like you got karma. You got what's coming to you. You got exactly what the hell you deserved. It's just a bigger question, though, for Vince. Is the money really worth it? Now, of course, your immediate answer is going to be yes, because you're a sea sucker and that's all you care about. But is it really worth it? doing all of this. Now imagine if you had your other brand off on an international tour themselves, NXT was off on a tour somewhere, and you had nobody stateside where you still had the obligation to film and record and show SmackDown Live on Fox on Friday night. What the hell would you have done? The workless stupidity of having this event the day before a SmackDown show is just mind-numbingly ridiculous to me. Having so much of your talent be stranded in a godforsaken place like Saudi Arabia for hours and hours and hours is just mind-numbingly ridiculous to me. And all the while, as you sit there and you have all these wrestlers stranded there, they come home, and then you issue a press release Basically painting it that they were too cheap and or too goddamn lazy to pay for their own way back. Because some superstars felt so passionate about making it back and paid for their own charter. Like what type of dictatorial spin bullshit is that? If you are surprised by this, and Vince McMahon and his company and their BS, then you're insane. If you are one of the talents that got caught up in the cyclone of this suck, of Vince McMahon and the Saudis and this blood money. You know what? I feel no sympathy for you either because you got exactly what the hell you deserved. Maybe that makes some of you think twice about going over there next time. But no, no, no. We know exactly how this is going to go down. Vince is going to say, You're going to jump. And everybody's going to be like, How high? How high I'm at the Vince? How high, Vince? How high are we going to do it? You got the Curtis Axels and the fucking, uh, fucking Anderson and all these other guys, Luke Harper. They'll be bitch asses and go over there the next time and they damn good and well know it. You're not going to do something about it and you're not going to take a stand. Then stop bitching about it. He's, oi, 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 oi. I agree. It's stupid. It's horseshit. What the hell else do you expect from Vince? Of course he was going to leave you stranded there. Of course he was going to leave a fucking PR statement out there that made it seem like you guys weren't worthy and you didn't care enough to pay for your own way back for that godforsaken hellhole. And of course Vince is going to sit there and have his company issue a press release doubling down on the relationship with Saudi Arabia. 
If you sign with this company, this company that's still after all these years when they can clearly afford to, sign you to independent contractor contract, meaning they don't have to pay you those types of benefits that they bother to pay to their corporate employees in the offices at Stanford and so forth, then you get exactly what the hell you deserve, period.